I don't know. I mean, I'm old. I can only do things I already know. So I'm, I keep, I keep, <laughs> I keep doing Haskell. I think it's a pretty nice language and it's, it grows and grows. And I, I can't even pretend to know all the corners of Haskell anymore because it just gets new stuff. I mean, I can understand each new thing, but how to use them all in sort of together, I don't know. I, I write in the Haskell dialect from 15 years ago. I said that my micro HS compiler can be compiled with hugs, which sort of is a 20 year old Haskell. That's where I stick to on purpose. Nice, nice. Um, yeah. So do you still have a running copy of Hugs on your system? I have a patched version of Hugs that runs enough, but I'm going to resurrect Hugs. Oh, super, super. So the, the only thing I use that Hugs doesn't have is pattern guards. So I thought I'd add pattern guards. I talked to Mark Jones if he could do it, and he said, oh, yeah, well, it might be interesting, but I'm head of department now, so I don't have time for these things. <laughs> uh, one thing that I noticed is that, as you said, all of you guys were working on, on, on laziness back then, like doing this functional programming, and you're very curious and very interested of, of things that laziness could do. But it seems to me that nowadays it's kind of like war out of fashion to do functional not even the functional program, like programming in general and laziness. And a lot of people even even argue that kind of like laziness is not really a good idea. What are what are your thoughts um, back then on you know, like were you ex were you excited about laziness? Do you, do you have questions? And what are your thoughts nowadays? 